So is there a video that I need to watch? Is there going to be a motion to suppress or anything of that it, nature? There, there may be a few redactions, but it's nothing. I don't, I don't see any suppression issue with the video. All right. So if there is a suppression I issue with the video, we'll carry it with the trial. But if you know you're going to have that, make sure that I have the video beforehand so we can go right into the argument and not keep jurors waiting. Yes, Your Honor. New at six, she was a little girl with a million dollar smile. But three year old Ronnie Salazar spent her last days fighting to survive catastrophic injuries. And that it was 29 days after she was brought here in what they say is basically an unresponsive state. Cassandra Lopez said the girl had massive head trauma, bruises head to toe, internal injuries indicating the possibility of sexual assault and that if she had survived, blindness and paralysis were part of her prognosis. Right. Uh, we're going to go on the record. So if everyone could please whisper. Court is calling 2022 CR 11873. State of Texas versus Yvonne Perez. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Allie Jackson for the state. Defense. Pettis. All right. And are you Yvonne Perez? Yes, ma'am. All right, this case is set for jury trial. The defense has filed a motion for continuance and state according to their motion for continuance, they're saying because their expert is not available. We So last time, just to expand on that, um, we got discovery. Um, some of this stuff basically has to be put on a drive and, and mailed. So I mailed it, expert didn't get it. So I had to remail it. So we I haven't had an opportunity. The experts not available because I haven't had an opportunity to to review it with him. Uh, conferred with the state, I believe they're they're unopposed. There, we are unopposed due to the voluminous nature of the discovery. All right. So, as both parties know, I don't like cases to be sitting around. In this case, will have been sitting around for a year. And when I say sitting around, I mean January thirteenth. Case was indicted and there was no autopsy available, which I don't understand why case is indicted. And I, and I know it wasn't you. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why case is indicted and it's a murder case and there's no auto autopsy. But that's neither here nor there. And then finally, on May 25th, the autopsy was completed. And everybody needed to review it in order to make an offer. And then uh, June 8th, this court was in jury trial, so we can take up this for trial. And then June 12th, defense attorney was in a federal trial. And then July 10th, that was when an offer was tendered and a plea deadline date was given. And then July 24th, there's an issue with counsel uh, illness. And then on July 31st, the offer was rejected and it was set for jury trial on October 30th. And that was reset. And I'm assuming it was reset because we were probably in a jury trial. It was, it was either that judge or we've had a lot of discovery issues with it. There were subpoenas that went out and that they said, well, this is in the hospital that did that particular part. So they mm -hmm. reissued subpoenas. There were doctors who... For some reason, their records weren't at the hospital, so that individual doctor had to be contacted. Mm -hmm. And so, um, we should we should have everything now. I came over um, a couple like two weeks ago and brought a, a hard drive just to read. So I should have at least duplicate copies of everything, just because I wanted to make sure that there's nothing missing. So all right, so you all understand that. Unless there's a plea that's going to be entered in today, the plea deadline date has expired and the court is not going to accept any pleas without good cause. Otherwise, you have to uh, enter a plea open to the court. Does everybody understand? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. All right. And so uh, my understanding, Ms. Uh, Perez, is that you're requesting a jury trial. Is that correct? Yes. All right. So how long are you all expecting this trial? It's probably going to be, what, two, maybe three weeks? No, I don't think so. Or, it, it, I mean, it, it, there are a lot of two weeks. It's just going to be a ton of medical testimony. It's going to be the more complicated. All right. Thing. Are there any videos? Uh, Miss Pettis has an interview. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. We can go off the record. Now, I always ask about the videos because unless there's a video that is 13 hours. Oh, yeah. I don't, no. Yeah. So um, no, that's how I yeah, judge no, 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 it. No, no, no. <laughs> 
All right. So is there a video that I need to watch? Is there going to be a motion to suppress or anything of that it, nature? There, there may be a few redactions, but it's nothing. I don't, I don't see any suppression issue with the video. All right. So if there is a suppression I issue with the video, we'll carry it with the trial. But if you know you're going to have that, make sure that I have the video beforehand so we can go right into the argument and not keep jurors waiting. Yes, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Ferguson, on this case, they're saying it's going to be two weeks. I think it'll probably be five days testimony. Norma gives me the look. <laughs> and Judge, one, one last thing. We filed a, a, a writ for habeas for bond reduction, and um, I don't no, I believe I don't know if this court hears it or if we'll, we'll Oh, I will for... hear it. I don't have the motion though. Oh, I think I think they had it in the file. Ah, you know what? I have it. You're right. Are you gonna go back on the record? With regards to the motion for continuance, it's unopposed. State, do you have any objection to the form that the motion is in? No, Your Honor. All right, then the court will grant your motion uh for continuance. And what date are we doing this? Counselor is Gonna have to be in the new year. Oh, and counsel. Yes. You may want to change the name. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, Norma, what date? Um, Judge, I think it's um, March 12th or April 9th. All right, March 12th. Is that spring break? And for some people, I believe. Diana, is that spring break? Let me try to I don't have kids. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll set it on March 12th. Look at us. <laughs> All right. We'll set it for March 12th. Okay. Okay. All right, Ms. Perez, you're going to be brought over dressed for trial in whatever civilian clothing you have at the jail. If you wish to be attired in something differently, you'll need to do a clothing exchange with your attorney. Counsel, if there's an issue with the clothing exchange, just let the court know and we'll see if we can help expedite that. And there's a, um, that is spring break. Oh, is that spring break for you? Yes. Do you have I, children? Do you want to be there I, for spring break? I can answer the first one affirmatively. Yes, I have two. <laughs> the second one, it depends. All right. Ms. Ferguson? Yes. He's on spring break. You want to do that April 9th then? <laughs> We can do it April 9th, but if we do this April 9th, I'm assuming this will be completed before, let me see. No, we can do April 9th, but this will be completed in two weeks at the latest, correct? Yes. yes. All right, so we'll do April 9th. And do you know if she's found guilty, is she's going to the court or jury for punishment? Jury. Okay. And if you'll make sure that that document is filled out. Yes. Now state, are you prepared to hear the, the writ on the bond issue? I don't know if it's just solely whether or not she gets to have it lowered. Yes, at this time where we are. Okay. And just wait. We provided an, an affidavit. I showed that to the to the state, um, and so we'll just be basing our argument off of the affidavit. All right, court, we're on the record. All right, defense has filed an application for writ of habeas corpus seeking bail. She has bail. You're seeking a reduction. Correct. All right, uh, state, are you prepared to proceed? Uh, yes, Your Honor. It is the defense's motion, just but the same. No, I mean, if you're just yes. ready to proceed. Yes, Judge. All right. So, defense, the bond is set at two hundred thousand dollars. Yes, Your Honor. Um, you may proceed. Everyone, I need you to whisper. We, we uh, just one second. Oh, Name. 
You want to check the order? Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, defense, do you have any witnesses? Uh, no, Judge, we've uh, filed uh, and attached a, an affidavit from Ms. Pettis, uh, shown it to the state, um, where she's, she, obviously the court knows how long she, she's been in custody. Everyone, please whisper. Um, she's been in continuous custody, so she's unable to make bond. Uh, her family and friends are either unwilling or unable uh, to help with her bond. Her assets, because she's been in custody for so long, she doesn't have any. She doesn't have any money. She doesn't have a house. She doesn't have a vehicle. Um, and in addition to that, uh, we've outlined two different incidents that happened at the Bear County Jail um, where she's been uh, attacked two different times. I hope that they beat her ass. Some of the women in prison beat her ass every day for as long as she's in there. And the most recent one. I uh, led her to be in a wheelchair in a condition that she's in. She does receive medication from the jail, but they've told her that there's no physical treatment uh, available for her at the jail. Um, and so we're asking, in, in addition to just uh, unable to afford the bond uh, for medical purposes as well, to be able to um, get out, seek medical treatment, she would have a place to stay here in San Antonio, Texas. She could be on full monitor house full GPS uh, because the the uh, case involves allegations uh, where someone's under 18 um, she would she would be able to stay at a place that has no no children and no no access to children if the court you know would feel more comfortable with that so we feel that with those conditions in place the community would be safe and uh, she would uh, with the GPS condition as well uh, there would be no worry about her appearing for court case. All right, state. Uh, Your Honor, you know, as you know, this case involves the death of a child. Um, a pretty, All right, everyone, please whisper. I'm um, a pretty horrific death of a child. And you know, at this time, it, they are allegations, but due to the serious nature, we feel that $200,000 is appropriate. Um, but that if the court is willing to lower them, then obviously full conditions, but for something involving <laughs> something like this i feel like anything lower than 150 even would be just way too low um it also is a little concerning that no one's willing to help her because then how is she going to be supported in the community um and be that's just concerning to the state your honor well it, it, just to clear it up it's not no one it's just people the Unfortunately, the people that were, were, are willing to help are just unable to do so financially. So. All right. Uh, the court is going to deny the motion. And the court has had no evidence on what amount of bond that she is able to make. Uh, so at this time, the court will deny the motion. And counsel, if there is an issue, is your client in protective custody? Yes, Your Honor. Now, all right. If there's an issue at the jail with her safety, just let the court know. Uh, but my understanding, she is in protective custody. Beyond that, that's all I can do. And counsel, I've always found them to be receptive if there's an issue with danger. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Same time. Same back channel. Stay, 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 stay,